is The Chris Abraham Show. Hey, this is the uh, Chris Abraham Show, Season 6, Episode 27, Van, Van Set, Van Set, um, and my name's Chris Abraham. Uh, I don't know what to talk about today. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Uh, one thing is that uh, my apartment is constantly a uh, hazard zone. And I spent all yesterday trying to clean it up and it was incomplete and inconclusive. So what I'm going to do today is I will spend all day working and then all evening at the gym. And then tomorrow I'll try to steal back as much time on Tuesday as I can um, in order to try to finish the second half. If you don't know, I'm working with my, uh, we identify as twin brother and sister identical twin brother and sister her name's linda she lives in lagrange kentucky and i've sent her all of my bags and i'm still sending her all of my bags i am hashtag bag hag and up until now it's been sort of like sequestering sequestering carbon for all my money and it was stupid and i used it as a crutch uh I used it as, may maybe I used it as a uh, uh, resentful retaliation towards discovering that I have aphantasia and realizing that things are more important to me than memories because I can't really keep memories. I can only keep thoughts. But if memories are defined as a uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful AI kind of rendered, uh, idealized or defiled or accurate or blurry literal images of things that have happened in your life then i just don't have any attachment to that so rolling over and seeing a cool bag and be able to see the same bag over time is sort of like a memory to me um if i had known about this aphantasia thing i probably would have covered my walls with uh photographs of the people i love but now i am getting rid of all of them I just found a, a, a cache of shoulder straps and I'm even going to be, am I going to, am I going to get rid of this one? There's a really special Filson tote bag that was like adapted so that it had uh, brass rings so you could put a shoulder strap on it. I think I'm going to have to keep that one that is so unique and so perfect. I can see myself using it forever, but just about everything else is going to go. I even recently bought a uh, 16 liter computer bullet from GORUCK on sale for Black Friday, and I think I might even give that one up. I've uh, returned to using uh, only one bag, which is the extremely expensive to buy and expensive to customize uh, customize GORUCK GR1 26 liter that was uh, made by her ordered by Huckberry and is in coyote brown or just tan or khaki and was completely uh, adapted to my petty shallow desires by scars which is the customization wing of uh, goruck out of jacksonville florida so it's what i'm rocking right now and i it's the perfect bag i don't know why i cheated oh i know why the GORUCK bag that I bought was in uh, Ripstop Nylon, and I love Ripstop Nylon. I also love Ripstop Cotton. I just love the little squares. I also like buying my notebooks in, uh, in graph paper, so maybe it's just a, a squares fetish. Um, anyway, I think I might send that along, or I might just keep it aside and see if I use it organically. I mean... The bag is cool, but there's never any 
extra space in it. It's always kind of a, a tight zip up. And besides, it mostly just replicates what this GR1 26 liter does anyway. So in many cases, it's redundant. And uh, this Coyote brown bag is pretty enough, so uh, it's fine. But I'm gonna be sending that all to Linda, who identifies as my uh, identical twin and uh, twin sister. So that's happening. I didn't, I insufficiently cleaned my apartment. I ruined every single one of my carbon steel and cast iron pans, which I will now need to uh, love on. I need to uh, pre-clean my bathroom, pre-clean my uh, kitchen. I need to do all these things before I invite the building maintenance guys in to fix a couple things and I need to pre-clean it before plea I need to pre-clean it before I invite apartment keepers back in so there's the rub so on that note I will be going to the gym today the uh the library is open until eight o'clock tonight uh but I am going to leave it by six so I can get some casual time at uh at Thomas Jefferson Fitness Center, which closes at nine, but really closes at 8.30. So if I leave at six, I will arrive at 6.30. I will be able to warm up for half an hour, which is seven. And then I'll be able to work out for a very slow recovery oriented uh, hour. And then I will be able to walk home in great coldness. Um, that's my plan. And then my plan is to go ahead is uh, tomorrow will be a recovery day and a cleaning day. And I believe I have some calls tomorrow as well. So I do those from the office, which is at home. I have a walking treadmill desk with a, with N, H, P, N, V, all in one there. At some point, I think I'm going to replace it with some super duper wicked fast thing because I'm so detached from, uh, windows now with my mint i dare say i will probably replace it with an all-in-one as fast as possible imac uh because why not right like all the cool kids have imacs so i am going to imac it up i will become an imac daddy now i am en route en route en route to ididos where i will get my coffee i will get my water in me and i will get a veggie table omelet with a slice of wheat toast and lots of hot sauce as i edit this into being uh what else is happening um we're really in kind of a stasis right now in terms of my political uh what is it my political tea read tea leaf reading my i can't do i told you so on anything like i don't know what's gonna happen with trump <laughs> I don't know what is going to happen with Israel. I don't know what is going to happen with Ukraine. I don't know what is going to happen with the election. I don't know what is going to happen with Hunter. Actually, I know. I know what's going to happen with all those things, but I don't know what's happening because I need to know what the outcomes were before I tell you I told you so. So on that note, I can't tell you so, so it's not fun. Um, I've been playing a lot on... Uh, mastodon and i love the fact that if anybody does not like your participation even though they're sharing things openly globally on the fediverse with everybody in the universe the moment you go in and try to debate or argue or challenge or contradict they're not a worthwhile opponent that person has never wanted to be uh debated with they just want to message and it's very fulfilling to be validated. I think validation is the number one commodity. It's not fame or celebrity. It's not winning. It's not uh, freeing Palestine. It's not uh, rebuking uh, uh, non-binary. It's not stopping. It's not stopping uh, abortion. It's not making abortion legal. It's not proving that God doesn't exist or proving that God does exist and Jesus is Lord. It's not any of those things. Nobody wants conflict. All they want is validation. 
And validation is definitely the currency of the internet. It's not even battle, right? I used to think that social media was battle. It was, it was skirmishes. It was, I was the captain of the debate team in high school. In fact, I was the founder of the speech and debate team in high school because it had gone, <laughs> I wouldn't say St. Louis is an illiterate school, but it's certainly not anybody's top 10 academic schools. It's a great, it's a, you know what? My favorite school, I loved it so much, but it, it is a um, obedience school for, for, uh, for bad dogs. St. Louis is an obedience school for bad dogs. Uh, Iolani is a math school. Punahou is an arts school. Uh, so many McKinley, you know, like, like even like St. Francis and, and, uh, and Kamehameha and like, there's so many schools. There's, there was, um, uh, UH lab school and, uh, uh, um, uh, La Pietra, uh, HSG was for, uh, for extremely wealthy dumb girls who couldn't get into Punahou or were kicked out of Punahou or needed discipline. So basically, if St. Louis was, um, was uh, obedience training for bad dogs, HSG was obedience training for bad bitches. And then there was, um, uh, um, you know, all the other schools. But, you know, we're mostly sports. And, like, there's photography and there's, like, you know, Japanese and Chinese culture and French club. And, and there's even, like, you know yearbook and 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 uh and newspaper and stuff like that but i had to rekindle speech and debate that nobody's interested in debate they're only interested in speech they want to write a a treatise they want to write a soliloquy and then they want snaps and claps and uh woohoo at the end of it they don't want someone to stand up it's not like oxford debates or it's not like anything like that they're there are no questions afterwards. There, there's only people who are interested in congratulating said orator. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm here at Ididos. I've arrived, and I'll talk to you soon. Lots of love. Auf Zayn. Ciao. This was Chris Abraham. Chris Abraham Show, Season 6, Episode 27. Mahalo, and have a good week. Bye-bye. Why do I play the coming on violin? You keep thinking on the violin. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.